two of this look at some thrift store finds from the Moving About family's recent trip into Amish country, uh, where we visited a few uh, thrift stores, a uh, few of which were owned and operated by Mennonite Central Committee, which is, uh, they have a chain of thrift stores all over the nation and into Canada. And they're some of my favorite thrift stores to visit. I've visited probably half a dozen MCC thrift shops. We have a few semi-local to me that I regularly go to. And one of the fun things about them, in addition to their collection of Bibles and uh, Bible-related and religious books, which they always have lots of, uh, and the variety is just great, uh, but they also tend to have pencils, which I find at almost no other thrift anymore. Used to be Goodwill would have pencils from time to time, but I never see them there anymore. And uh, Mennonite Central Committee thrift stores, for whatever reason, still have pencils. And a lot of ones I've never seen before, older pencils. Um, so I enjoy that. I'm a pencil collector as well as a collector of Bibles and prayer books and uh, things of that sort. So I'm just going to show a few of the finds from this week. Uh, first one came from MCC Connections Thrift Store. I think that one is in Millersburg, Ohio. And uh, just a little two-pack for 25 cents. But if you can see, say Dixon Beginners 308. And uh, whoever sharpened this either was a lefty or just didn't pay attention when they sharpened it uh, because they sharpened the end uh, that would normally be the butt end of the pencil. And uh, so it's sharpened for a left-handed orientation. There's also a very old looking carpenter pencil here in this pack from some lumber company out of Akron, Ohio, also in Northeast Ohio city. And that pencil is well worn and nicely sharpened. So I'm going to get these out, probably sharpen these up, at least the ones I can sharpen. That carpenter pencil I may leave as is, but I'll sharpen this Dixon, put a better point on that, and take a better look. Uh, also from I believe, yes, MCC Connections. This one is 50 cents. I guess I got twice as many pencils, so kind of makes sense. Uh, the first one here of interest is this Made in Japan Dermatograph Mitsubishi 7600. Mitsubishi makes a fine pencil. This is one of those grease type pencils that's designed for, uh, usually for writing on like porcelain or glass, something of that nature. Um, and it sharpens by pulling on the string to unravel some of the paper outer coating. But this one I notice says it's for writing on skin, glass, metal, and plastics. It's odd that skin is the first uh, use there. I don't know if I can focus in on that. For skin, glass, metal, plastics. So I thought that was odd, and I guess is what give it, gives it its name, Dermatograph. Uh, also in here, there's a indigo blue barrel Prismacolor. There's another grease marker, China marker, Penn State line made in Korea. It says number two, which is strange because it's a, a China marker pencil. I don't, I didn't think those were graded. Maybe just, I don't know, out of habit, they put a number two on there. And then here's a classic Eagle, very thin colored pencil, Carmine Red, that has the metal cap on the end with a stripe and has the terrific classic eagle logo kind of a thunderbird almost logo very nice pencil 50 cents for that little grouping and then the last came from another mcc thrift uh, save and serve serve and save something of that nature i forget the name suddenly um also in Amish country. And this is a collection of uh, fat or semi-fat pencils. 
which I'm a fan of. 50 cents. And we've got uh, some advertising pencils. Uh, a couple of ones I've never heard of before. Looks like mostly Northeast Ohio companies advertising. Another Dixon Beginners pencil. This is a slightly different variation of the, the other. And another advertising natural wood pencil. So I'm going to open these up. Probably put a, a point on the ones that need sharpened. Some of these were roughly sharpened with a knife. But I'll put a point on them and take a closer look. And uh, see what they look like that way. Alright, let's put a point on this. And I have a cat helping me here that really needs attention, so hopefully he doesn't interrupt too much. Very nice. one is actually maybe too fat for my sharpener. Let's try this one. Okay, so there were a couple that were too fat for my regular pencil sharpener, even though it has multiple apertures for that purpose. So I'm going to see if I can find a sharpener that will work better. So I have a assortment of various sharpeners here. And I think maybe I'll go with this. go with the Hansen that was designed for carpenter pencils but I think it might just work let's try it and see whatever wood this pencil's made of is not the best. I think I'm about to break something here. That lead sounds like that may have broken. Or maybe not. Not bad. Stony Point Hardware, Fredericksburg, Ohio. Not the greatest wood in the world, but Kind of a cool little fat advertising pencil. Let's get this poor guy situated. Just a little too big in circumference for my regular sharpener. Now that is probably cedar. That wood feels a little better. Might be red cedar. I don't know how old this pencil is, but it's quite old. And 
another one of the great things about pencils as opposed to pens this will be good 100 years from now 300 years from now probably it'll still be writing Dixon Beginners 308 oh that's fantastic that's a quality pencil lead fast it's kind of filthy from age and use and I love it. And then we have Wix Lumber, building materials. Carpenter pencil sharpener makes sense for that. Scary sounds going on here. Graphite's crumbling a little bit. Might have broken it. No? Nice. That looks like cedar to my eyes also. Nice one. I wouldn't ordinarily be sharpening all of these, but they've already been sharpened. If they were intact and pristine, brand new, I wouldn't be doing that. And some of these have got their from the factory pre-sharpened, and I'm going to leave them as is. These are round pencils, so there's no way they're going to stay on here, but oh, I didn't sharpen this, did I? That was probably a factory sharpen. Colorific, that's a more modern pencil. I'll leave that. I like this natural wood. Someplace from Charm, Ohio. Probably a lumber yard or some such. Looks like it does say lumber. Something, I can't read it. Um, but from Charm, Ohio, which is kind of on the outskirts of Amish country in Ohio, uh, close to where we were staying. So that's neat. It's uh, almost to the point where it's unusable, but it's uh, perfect right now. Let's see what these look like. I did not sharpen these. One, you can't really sharpen those. Um, and these aren't too bad yet. Probably not going to mark on my skin to try that. I'll just take their word for it. And then this carpenter pencil. I might just grab my sharpener designed for that and give that a try. Although I'm tempted to leave that, but I sort of want to try it in my carpenter pencil sharpener. Let me grab that. Okay, so I grabbed my sharpener, but I realized uh, it's designed for carpenter pencils, but it uh, must be a different, the modern carpenter pencils must be a different, slightly different size or shape because this one does not fit in this clever little sharpener that I picked up at Blix a while back. So I will leave this point intact the way it came from whatever carpenter last used it. It looks like a very long time ago. I will leave that intact, but I kind of want to see how this sharpener will work. So grab my little tube of carpenter pencils and let's get one that has not been sharpened. Nice Home Depot made in America pencil. Pick it up at your local Home Depot and they're not bad pencils. And I think I'll sharpen the lefty end. It's kind of a clever little device. And the carpenter pencil just fits in that perfectly shaped aperture there. And you slide it back and forth. And it shaves off a bit. And then switch to the other side. And it shaves off from the other 
two sides. You can see how it's shaving off of all four of the sides, two at a time, depending on which way you're working on it. Very cleverly designed. Takes a little while, but it's a cleaner job than using a razor knife or something to sharpen your pencils. I guess unless you're really good at it. And I seem to be have something stuck in there, so you get the idea. I won't uh, belabor the point here, cleaning that out, but eventually you get a point that looks like one of these, which I used there, this one here. This is a General's sketching pencil. See the point on that? That was made with this sharpener designed just for that purpose. So that's what you would get. These are very nice pencils, by the way. General's, you get them at Blix or probably other art stores. This one's a 4B, very nice dark drawing pencil. All right, so that's a look at uh, my pencil finds from this week. And uh, if you like collecting pencils, your local thrift is probably unlikely to carry them. But if you have a MCC, a Mennonite thrift anywhere near you, they may still. So go check it out. Thanks for joining me today, and maybe you'll join me again next time.